Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. I'm sat behind the wheel of this beautiful RS7 because I am on my way to Birmingham Airport. Now, you may have seen my recent video where I put um, Michelin Pilot Supersport tires on my mini Roadster. I changed the run flats. Now, a few weeks after that, I was contacted by Michelin and they said, that was a great video. Would you be interested in coming to France to our R&D facility, which is near Clermont-Ferrand in France? We've got a, a new initiative called Long Lasting Performance. We've got an event running and we thought you might like to come and do some tire testing. So um, I checked my diary, I was free and I said, absolutely, I'll be there. So we are on our way to Birmingham Airport where we're then going to fly to France and I just I'm really really excited about this one I've got I've got an itinerary but I don't really know exactly what's going to be happening uh, we've got presentations and uh, and some demonstrations and so on but I think this is going to be great fun and I thought you guys would like to come along for the ride so next stop Birmingham Airport Well, I've safely arrived at Birmingham Airport. You can probably just make it out through the glass there on my way down to meet the guys from Italy. So I've checked in, gone through security, and um, the gate has just been called. So we're flying to Clermont-Ferrand, which is the headquarters of Michelin. Um, we've got an event there this evening, and then we're off to a place nearby their kind of R&D facility uh, to do some testing tomorrow. Uh, but I thought it'd be a bit of fun to do a bit of a travel vlog. I had an amazing journey up in the RS7. Um, you need to tune into my RS7 review to talk about that. Um, but I'm going to go and find the guys from Michelin, get on a plane and head off to French France. Clermont-Ferrand. I didn't actually even know Clermont-Ferrand had an airport and it's quite a big one. That's quite a nice little flight that. Very small plane but small group of people. That was just Michelin people on the flight. So next stop, our hotel. Okay, so it is the morning after the night before. We had an amazing show around the L'Aventure Michelin last night and learned all about the history of Michelin, but today is the, 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 the reason we're here. So we're at the Le Doux R&D facility um, and they've got a most amazing facility here with just a huge amount of um, tracks, both sort of uh, high speed uh, dry circuits, but the one we're on today is called the Duck. It is a wet weather um, a testing facility. So there's basically a one millimeter film of water on the road and we're going to be testing the new Premier C4 tyre and so we're going to head out onto the test track in our golf uh, demonstrators and I think we're going to be thrown around by some professional drivers who know this place inside out and can handle the car really really well. Um, you may well expect me to be driving the car but we the whole point of this is to be shown by someone um, just what the, the kind of car is like right on the very edge. So I'm going to stick some GoPros in the car uh, and off we go. It should be a really interesting, uh, interesting experiment. The purpose of this first demonstration was to show the grip, control and stability of a brand new Primacy 4 tyre in extreme wet weather conditions. Okay guys, so we are about to go out on the test track here at Le Doux, famously called The Duck because it looks like a duck. So we're basically going to be trying out this new Primacy 4 tyre on a wet handling circuit, so there's there's a, a, a one millimeter layer of water on the 
on the road and we're going to see just how good this tyre is. Now the, these are worn already, these tyres? or are these no, new? Got new So this is this is to experience it with the, the tyre being brand new um, and this should be good fun. What's, what's, you probably can't pick this out on camera guys but the road surface is so wet, it's, it's uh, the standing water and... Especially here, the depth of water is, is a lot compared yeah. to what you can find on the road. Yeah. It's a lot of water. It's, it would be like a really heavy, uh, heavy downpour that's just happened. Heavy, heavy rain. But the front end grip is unbelievable. You know, this track is really demanding a lot to the tires because yeah. it's really a lot of water. And you know, some of our, of, of our customers yeah. don't like so much driving here because yep. it's too hard for the tire. And is this standard asphalt, or is it is it specific the the, the surface itself yeah, is it it's specifically it's, designed or no, just standard road standard, asphalt, uh, but just water, asphalt. just a sprinkler system on it? <laughs> it's just you. Is this bend here? That's like 110 through there. So we're coming up here down the straight, really high speed, 100 and. 40 k's braking down. <laughs> Stop. That's, the braking performance is really impressive. Tiny bit of rear end, just just complaining a little bit there, but so we can see also the balance is good on this car. So yeah. It's not too much understeering. Yeah. It's mainly the characteristic of a Golf, but yeah. Here you can feel both axles of the car yeah. working together. Yeah. This is great fun. <laughs> Having seen the performance of a brand new Michelin tyre, we then attended a number of workshops and demonstrations showing how effective worn tyres at 1.6mm tread depth can be versus brand new tyres. So this test guys is all about the ability for the tyre to hold a radius around a, a wet circuit. The theory being, so this car is shod with worn Michelin tyres and we're looking at the speedo as we go around and we're now about 59, 60 kilometres an hour. We're just starting to feel some understeer and you can start to feel the grip breaking away. There we go, 60 kilometres an hour pretty much every time, there we go. And, but the really interesting thing as well is although we're getting understeer, the car still feels quite balanced. Um, we're not kind of having a lot of breakaway at the back and it's just a really, really good demonstration. So this car's tyres are worn, uh, so they are still legal, but just above the legal limit. And this circuit is particularly damp. So I think now we need to go in and try it against the brand new budget tyre. So remember the number, 60 kilometres an hour. Okay, so we've jumped out of the car that has the premium worn tyres. And we're going to jump in the car that's got brand new budget tyres and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So off we go, so exactly the same test, same car but this car's now shot with brand new budget tyres and we're going to see what the breakaway speed is going to be. Uh, we've got at 60 kilometres an hour absolutely gigantic amounts of understeer and also quite unsteady at the back. This car's now breaking away at about 55 kilometers an hour, in fact in places a little bit less than that, we're getting understeer about 52, 53 kilometers an hour and you might be able to see the driver's having to put inputs in and he's got sort of a loose back end as well. And it's an, a rem oh, you see lots of, under lots of oversteer as well there as well. So there you go. So the, the, the sort of stability of the car, this has got brand new tires, lots of, of, of oversteer there. It really is a very, very different place to be. And this car's got brand new tyres on it. <laughs> so having jumped out of both of those, I think you could see the difference is remarkable. I mean, you've got to think this car, and I don't know whether we can kind of, if I come down, you probably won't be able to pick it up, but what they basically do is they, that they wear these tyres down. So they're just above the, the, the legal limit. So with the, with the wheel parked as it is, I'll zoom in for you and you can actually see the tread pattern. You can see the kind of wear indicators. They are literally level with the top blocks of the tread on this car. And if you compare that with the budget car, 
uh, while I'm talking I'll put just a, a view of that tread it's got a full tread pattern sort of six seven mils worth of tread yet the performance of this worn tire outstrips that one completely I just find that really really interesting so the premise of today um, um, the first uh, demonstration was all about the sort of if you like the ultimate wet grip of a brand new Michelin Primacy 4 tire we've just done this demonstration of the difference between a worn Michelin tire and a new uh, uh, budget tire we've got the, the Michelin tired car behind us but the, the thing we've been sort of learning about which is really interesting is if you think about it none of us have brand new tires on our car yet we all think about the tire performance probably when it's new but as a tire wears there are some things that actually improve as the tire wears so rolling resistance improves which means better fuel economy uh, dry performance especially dry braking improves and also road noise reduces so there are some good things that happen as tires wear uh, and therefore you kind of want to maximize that as much as possible but on the flip side as the tyre wears clearly its ability to kind of get rid of water um, starts to reduce um, so things like wet braking and that's the kind of demonstrations we've got here when it's at its warm um, and in the, in the wet that's in its toughest conditions um, but what, what Michelin are saying with this Primacy 4 tyre is that even when we're down at the, the sort of legal limit for a tyre, which is 1.6 millimetres, you've still got performance uh, in the wet equivalent to brand new budget tyres. And it's a really, really interesting thing, especially to kind of feel that. And I know we're not getting to feel it as a driver, but you can feel it in the passenger seat of a car. You can feel a car understeering. This demonstration behind us that we've just done, the difference between you sort of got the budget clad tyre car there and the Michelin worn tyres there and you know going around that, that wet uh, circular track there there was the best part of a five kilometre an hour difference between the budget brand new budget tyre and the worn Michelin tyre very very interesting so this demonstration is all about dry braking so we're going to see two cars coming down here at 100 kilometres an hour braking at those cones one with brand new tyres one with worn tyres. Now you would think that the new tyres will perform better but what this is demonstrating is as tyres age and wear there are certain characteristics that get better and one of them is dry braking performance. So this is a dry braking performance test so this car is going to be braking from 100 kilometres an hour with new tyres. So the car with new tyres finished or braked within 38.2 metres, this car has worn tyres, same speed, braking from 100 kilometres an hour. And it stopped a lot shorter. 37. Now that was impressive, the two drivers are there. Good driving boys, well done. <laughs> really, really impressive. Um, so on to the next one, which is all about wet braking. So here we are guys at the last workshop for this morning. This is to demonstrate wet braking, but I don't know if you can see in the background, there's a guy, they're doing some driver training on that wet circle. And they're properly getting the back end out of that big ton of Unimog type uh, vehicle. But this one should be good. So wet braking demonstration, first car, premium new tyres, there's about 2mm film of water on the road. So we put a cone out there, so that's premium new. So this next car is budget new. Again, same speed, same road conditions. Wow. Twenty-five point two. So you see, yeah. 
so this car is premium worn so it'd be interesting to see if it can beat the budget new distance pretty close I think it has just beaten it you can see that's the distance by 23.9 He nearly went off the end. Okay, so here we are where the premium new tyre stopped. So just to give you an idea, we're going to walk along here. And this is where the premium worn tyre. So this tyre only had 1.6 millimetre of tread depth, yet it still stopped this distance before the premium new oh sorry the budget new tire but the really scary one for me is you then have to walk all the way over here until you get to budget worn so just have a look how far away those cones are so i mean it's an amazing demonstration but the thing is even if you've got brand new premium tires on your car it's the person behind you if they've got budget worn tires and you have to stop you know and, and it's raining and wet and horrible you just need to look in your rear view mirror because that that was a really scary demonstration for me the distance or the difference between those two cones or those four cones is really scary so guys that's the end of the wet weather braking demonstration and all i need to say is take a look at those cones from the premium new the blue one up there all the way down to the budget worn there and think about it the next time you're driving your car in the wet and you have to brake hard I'm going to take the picture of those cones home with me. It's, it's actually quite, quite amazing. So that's the last of our demonstrations for this morning. I think we're going to go and grab some lunch now. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, guys. We've actually left the R&D facility at Le Doux now. We've had our bus back to Clermont-Ferrand Airport. It's a really, really tight schedule today, and we've actually got our flight very shortly, so we will be boarding. In fact, there is a queue going through passport control right now that I need to get into. Um, we had a really busy afternoon after lunch, but I wasn't able to film any of it. It's a really sensitive site at Le Doux, and there's no filming on campus at all, so I wasn't able to film anything. But we had workshops and, and some really interesting presentations all around this, um, this kind of uh, drive to be able to extend the life of a tyre to the all the way to the limit of 1.6 millimetres and we saw lots of presentations around proof that that can be done safely in especially under wet weather braking um, and that really this drive to change tyres at three millimetres has a big environmental impact in terms of of tyres being changed before they need to be um, but anyway that draws me to the end of my video as I see we're, we're needing to go now but I wanted to say a huge huge thank you to Michelin for inviting me on this trip it, it's been a real privilege I've enjoyed every minute uh, I've learned a huge amount about tires I hope you have done too from the from the video I've met some great people um, but you know I, I just need to say a big thank you so thank you very very much for that anyway um, I am about to go and get on my plane so I'm gonna say goodbye but I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have done so give me a thumbs up comments below are always welcome and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come and I would love to know what you think um, uh, put some comments below what you think about the, the the content of this video and and you know is it as thought-provoking for you as it has been so for me but anyway i will see you on the next video guys you take care drive safe